Welcome to the Market Front Lines. I'm Lindsay Melchuk. The race to decarbonize transportation isn't just about electric vehicles. The real disruptors are the companies quietly transforming the engines that keep industries running. Now, Dynacert has developed a patent hydrogen technology that's designed to cut fuel consumption and slash emissions in existing diesel, diesel engines. And that's giving fleets a way to clean up their operations without a costly overhaul. Joining me is someone who's not just leading that charge, but making sure this technology scales where it matters most. I'm speaking with Kevin Unrath, Chief Operating Officer of Dinosaur. Kevin, it's great to see you as always. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Lindsay. Nice for seeing you again and looking forward to the interview and the next few minutes of discussion. Well, then let's just dive right in if we can. Starting right at the core then, Dynacert isn't just another green tech story. You're actually targeting the backbone of global logistics with technology that promises real efficiency gains. Yet many still see you as a niche. So how do you define Dynacert's edge and where are you staking your claim in this evolving market now? So at the moment, and we discussed it already in, in interviews, we did talk before, we see ourselves as a bridge technology. So there is a lot of opportunities out, which are discussed heavily in politics, in technology, which I would say are often claimed as the final solution. Is it EV? Is it hydrogen combustion? Is it fuel cell? Is it maybe at some point still combustion engine with um, synthetic fuels, HVO, things like this. So we ourselves see us as some kind of a bridge. The bridge is we are ready now, we are available, and we support to do this first step into the greener future. Okay, that leads right into something that, uh, Kevin, investors have been watching quite closely here. There has been a noticeable lag between strong interest in your technology and the actual order flow. That's a key concern for anyone tracking revenue visibility. So why the lag? What's really happening behind the scenes when it comes to turning that pipeline into booked sales? Very good question, Lindsay. I think basically we need to differentiate there. And the interest for the technology we know since a long time and this is also basically co coming directly out of the hydrogen community. And I think if you are used to hydrogen, you understand the technology and you see a lot of the USPs and the ideas behind the product. What is the important point coming down to your question is really now we need to convince people which are not out of the hydrogen community, which are operators, which are people working on combustion engines day by day, which are people maybe having different KPIs like fleet managers focusing on availability, uptime, you know, things like this, maybe not wanting to have further complexity as they might see it on their, on their equipment. And that's exactly the people we need to convince now. And for this, it is important to have fact-driven informations. For this, it's important really to get them also into the hydrogen community, getting used to hydrogen, understanding our on-demand concept. So we are not, we are reducing risk of risk of hydrogen as we do not have to transport stored hydrogen hydrogen and things like this so we really produce on demand on the equipment that's point number two and point number three is clearly we need to show the business case to the customer we need to show them that they really not only get efficiency on emissions which is important for the first step on the green footprint but on the other hand of side they are also reducing fuel and by this, they create a business case for themselves. And this is what we need to work on. And that's the transition from high interest, a lot of belief in the hydrogen community into the operator's world. So all of this ultimately then comes down to execution, which brings me then, Kevin, to my final question. The technology is proven. This we've seen, and the market is actually there as well. So over the next 12 to 24 months, what are the key moves you're making to accelerate the delivery, to remove the friction in scaling, and to give investors that confidence they've really been waiting for? Absolutely. And um, what we are doing is we will get additional sales force on board. So we already have additional people uh, down in Latin America. 
in which we are operating um, out of Colombia now, and we have really dedicated Dinosaur people down there. And um, what we also are doing, we are getting additional people on in the North American market to focus more on this market. We are extending the safe space over here in Europe to create a, what you request, the final sales and the booked sales at the end of the day. Well, I'm sure that there is so much more that we could unpack here. For now, let's tie this up. However, Kevin, do come back and give us some more updates soon. This is ex very exciting news. Perfect. Again, that was Kevin Unrath, Chief Operating Officer of Dinosert Inc. The company trades on the TSX under the symbol DYA and on the OTCQB under DYFSF. Now, for more information on their story, head over to dinosert.com. I'm Lindsay Nelchek, and this is the Market Front Lines. We will see you next time.